Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share a part of a mini training about how to start thinking in English, speak confidently, and communicate effectively. In this short part, we talk about three main challenges that you may have on your journey that stops you from speaking English confidently and communicating effectively. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can access the full mini training. Enjoy! So let's talk about the first part of your journey. Now, here's the gap between where you are and where you want to be, which is to speak English confidently and communicate effectively. When you want to start this journey, you're going to experience some challenges. And in this video, we're going to talk about three of these challenges. The first one is self-doubt. Whenever we want to grow in life, we will experience self-doubt because in order to grow, we need to expand our comfort zone and do things we've never done before. And when you want to have international experiences or speak in English, you're going to have a lot of situations that it's the first time you're doing that specific thing in English. For example, it can be the first time you're giving a presentation in English, speaking on the phone in English, or doing public speaking in English. And all of these new situations can create self-doubt. It's important to know that self-doubt is part of this journey and we cannot eliminate it. We just need to learn how to manage it. Because if we don't, then we're gonna hurt ourselves. How? By limiting ourselves, by not applying for that international job because we feel we're not ready or by not asking for that promotion because we feel we're not good enough. If we don't manage the feeling of self that well, we will be the one standing in the way of achieving our goals and we limit ourselves. In the next part of the course, we'll talk about how practically do this. But for now, know that we need to take action regardless of feeling self-doubt. The second challenge is not being able to speak. And this can happen for a variety of reasons. It can be because you're a beginner and you don't know how to speak, but it can also be because you're an introvert or you're a perfectionist that you prefer not to speak until you're 100% sure. That is why in previous lessons, we identified your personality so we can find a solution based on who you are. Whatever the reason for not speaking, if you don't manage it well, then you become invisible. People will not know who you are and how talented you are. Your boss doesn't know your value or all the things you do. And people will not know the great ideas that you have in your mind because you don't express yourself. Later, we'll also talk about how to manage this based on the reason why you're not speaking. And this takes us to the next one, which is miscommunication. What does it mean? Simply put, miscommunication happens when you have a message and a specific intention, but the listener receives your message or intention differently. For example, you have the intention to help someone but they will get offended when you offer help. This is a miscommunication because your intention was good to help, but you got a different result. As a non-native speaker, you need to learn how to manage miscommunication. If you don't, you are not going to only hurt yourself, but also hurt others. Miscommunication can happen for a variety of reasons. It can be because of not knowing how to manage a particular situation as a non-native speaker or not knowing how to communicate effectively or the cultural differences. These are just some examples, but we need to learn all the essential skills to be able to avoid miscommunication. And this is part of our course too, which we'll talk about it 
in the future lessons. As I mentioned previously, we have two different methods of traditional language courses and the method that we use that is based on real life. Now, we want to see how these two methods try to bridge this gap between where you are and where you want to be, which is to speak English confidently and communicate effectively. We'll cover this in the next lesson. In the meantime, download the free guide that I have for you in the link to see the five lessons that traditional language courses aren't teaching you. See you in the next video lesson. Hope you enjoyed this mini training. If you want to learn more, you can sign up for the full mini training by clicking on the link in the description box or go to the pinned comment. When you sign up for this mini training, you'll also receive a guide about five lessons traditional language courses are in teaching you. Can't wait to see you in this mini training. As always, don't forget to share your ideas. You can tell me which of the three challenges I mentioned you struggle with. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.